Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's 4. I've completely given up on my hair, I have no- There's nothing I can do about it that would make it any sort of good right now, but I'm here not for my hair, I am here to beat Nightmare Mode, and everyone's been telling me that this is going to be unbelievably, incredibly, stupidly hard. And supposedly, supposedly, it introduces a completely different animatronic in it. Now, I don't know what it is, I don't know how to beat it, but I imagine it's that question mark at the end of the list of animatronics. So, I'm gonna just approach this with the idea that it's going to be very difficult, I'm gonna try my best, I'm assuming it's gonna shift gears at one point or another, and then I'm just gonna move on. Okay. Whatever. Let's do this. Let's do this with a fiery vengeance. Oh, I'm here step stamping already. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, you better back off. What, is that the screams of the children already? Damn, three of them already, holy hell. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. Someone's a-sprinting back and forth all over the place. Alright, we're okay. Things are okay. Things are probably okay. Okay. Children, I know, I know. Calm down, little kitties. It's gonna be okay. Mommy's here to throw you into the closet and never remember you. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. No, you get out of here. God damn, the screams of the damn children! Get out of here with your bull. Heard that. Oh, it's been a while since I messed up one of those! Thought I heard a breathy boo, but I didn't because I'm full of poo. I should point out, I don't know if I point this out. Version 1.021, in between the time that I played it earlier today, and in between now, there's been an update again, and I don't know why. I mentioned that. Whatever. I'm an idiot. Alrighty, Wumpus Woo! Come on, all you wumpy wumpersons! You wanna wump a Wumpus Woo?! On it! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tell me more about how you suck. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Screams of the damn children. Get out of here. Get the screaming children, screaming children. Pet them a little bit. I don't know. Feed them milk or something. And shut up! Ooh. Again, very late. Very late. Okay. Ooh. I don't like this. That was definitely obvious. Foxy, then screaming children. I know, I know, screaming children is bad. I'm a bad mama. I know! I'll take care of you. I'll feed you in a few days. Oh crap, that's not enough on Foxy. That was not enough. <laughs> what the fuck? God damn it! What a bunch of horse baloney! A bunch of poopy dicks. A bunch of poopy dicks. Oh, I almost made it to 4 a.m., which I'm assuming is when it was gonna change over. I was doing okay. I was doing okay. Just gotta focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Change over! Oh, fuck me. Fuck you shit. Okay, it just changed over! Whoa, what was that? Whoa, what was that? Oh, fuck! What the fuck was that? Ooh, ho, ho! Oh, me no likey! Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Oh my god, what was that? What was that? Well, obviously that was a new one, but what the hell happened? Okay, so what I did, I did wrong, obviously, because when the laugh happened, I didn't even bother to check down that hallway, or else I would have been fine. Oh, what the shit balls! Holy crap, okay. Fine, okay, just changed over. Okay, just changed over. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oof! Jesus. Oh shit, come on! The fuck? <sighs> oh, come on! The fuck? What the hell? God 
damn it. Okay, so when he laughs, he doesn't go into the closet? Is that what I'm supposed to take from this? I... <sighs> Alright, so... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. <sighs> oh, cock, balls, and ass. Was that the- Oh, fuck! What the fuck? Oh boy. Come on. <sighs> fuck. Okay, that's definitely inside. Oh fuck, fuck. Closet, closet, come on! looking at here whoa okay so oh my god okay so my first thoughts on seeing this is throughout the entire game like in fight whoa perhaps some things are best left forgotten for what okay that blew my theory out the window I thought throughout the game, like in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, there were like hidden items and hidden things and easter eggs, like two keys that you could get. So maybe that's it. But also, Scott said that there was going to be DLC for this game in particular released on Halloween. Now there is one more thing that it can be found in this game that you guys need to know about and that you guys told me about. If I go to the extras menu and I type this, well, I mean, I'll show you in a second. If I type... 20, 20, 20, 20. No? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, snap! Oh, snizzity snap! It's goddamn 20, 20, 20, 20 mode. Night 8! Holy shit, you guys were right. There is, There are night eight, 8 nights. So let's just give this a C, because I don't know how tough this is going to be, but I imagine it's going to be very. Oh, oh, fuck. God damn it. I was too early on it. I, I heard footsteps in the right one, but... It wasn't- it was too early, it was too early, god damn, it was before he actually left. Okay, so that's 2020 mode. I don't know how hard that's gonna be to beat. It might not be as difficult as the original 2020 mode, but oddly enough, I do not have time for it in this session. I'm actually going home, because tomorrow, I'm recording this, when this is released, it'll actually be my brother's birthday. Uh, if you didn't know, my brother, I was just down with him, uh, at Comic-Con. He is the author of the webcomic Two Kinds. I'll put a link in the description, he's a great, great guy. I, I've known him my whole life, and uh, I love my brother to death, so I'm gonna celebrate his birthday back in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm gonna see my friends, I'm gonna see my family. Uh, I might try to record 2020 mode when I'm in Cincinnati, but I'd have to play through the whole game again to get to the point where I was, so maybe I'll get that when I get back. But for now, I just want to have some closing thoughts about Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This was a phenomenal successor this I love the direction that Scott took with this game the change from video to audio is genius like well maybe not genius but it's great because of what I was talking about in like the first few episodes the little moment of apprehension every time you go up to a door every single time you are able to feel this sense of I don't know you know you know, it's that feeling, literally, it's a feeling of I don't know what's gonna happen, I do not know if I'm gonna die, but I am forced to act. And if I don't act, I will die. I have to act to save my life, and I have to do it right. That 
is really, really cool and a really unique take on it, and it makes the formula, which is the same, it's the same formula, you know, trying to survive from animatronics coming to your door, but it takes that formula and it presents it in a new way. It is great. Now, I could have some critiques about critiques about these animatronics in that maybe they're a little too horrific, you know, there's a point at which, oh, that was, just, oh my god, he's so vicious. Holy hell, look at that guy. Ugh, Nightmares is his name. So there was Nightmare Fredbear, and that's just Nightmare. So I don't know how this fits in the, with the lore. I will leave that up to the game theorist, you know, Mad Pat. I'll leave that up to a whole bunch of people to debate the lore of this. But this was a great addition to a great series of games. And to be honest, there may be DLC at it, and I want to see how that uncovers more of the story. And I do not know what 2020-2020 mode will add to the story. I will find that out, I promise you. But for now, I like to say I had a great time playing this. There were some serious scares. Almost every single time a scare happened, it got me. Like, I very, you know, in the last few games, I became numb to it after a while. But even up until the last episode, this episode, it still got me. And you may say one way or another about jump scares, but jump scare is only good if the level of apprehension comes before it and knowing that the jump scare is a result of your actions as opposed to randomness that's good that's when it's good and the atmosphere and the music and the sounds all great i love this game i really hope you did too let me know what you think in the comments below there's one more episode to go plus the dlc when it comes out in halloween thank you everybody so much for watching check out the plethora of all the other five nights of freddy stuff that i've done the musicals the compilation the interview the animations all good stuff thank you again and as always i will see you in the next video Bye bye